Hi, I'm Steve, and this is just a quick video to explain how to mod City Skylines for non Steam users. Not so long ago, I downloaded City Skylines for free via the uh, Epic giveaway thing that they do. Uh, and I really like it, and I've paid for and downloaded pretty much all the DLC. So that was good marketing on their part. But because I'm in the Epic system and not in the Steam system, I can't do the uh, the way you download and install a mod in Steam, which is just to go into the Steam Workshop um, and subscribe to the mod and it just puts it in my game. You can still do it, but it's a bit more old school. You've got to copy files into locations. So I'm going to just show you how to get the files and where to stick them, basically. So what you're going to need, you need to know where the Steam Workshop is. And I can put a link to that down below this video. And this is where you would select from a dizzying variety of mods. Um, if you're new to modding, you might want to do an internet search for something like best mods for city skylines and see what people are saying. Read a few reviews uh, before you dip your toe in the water sort of thing. Uh, the other thing you'll need is a downloader, which will, this is just a web page. It's not something you need. You don't need to install anything, but this will um, basically grab the files from the Steam Workshop that you've specified and put them onto your PC so that you can manually mod your game. So here's um, an asset, a building that I um, that I downloaded, which I really like the look of. But then when I played the game, it was warning me that there was something missing because I'd forgotten to put download these as well. So I'll demo doing the download and putting them in the right place uh, now so that you can see how it all works. So here are the when you click on these links, it would open these pages, which I've already opened up. So here's the first one and downloading it really is easy. You just copy the link from the page, paste it into the downloader, check that it's the right one and click on download. And that's done. And there's the second one. Same again, copy the link paste it into the downloader, click on the download button, and there it is. So that's stage one done. We've got hold of what we want to install. Great. So there is my downloads folder and there are the two files that I've just downloaded. There are two places where you can put these to make them work in your game. So over here in this window, I'm in my games folder. So for me, it's on the E drive games, Epic games, city skylines, and then the files, uh, directory within city skylines. And this is where you put your mods and your downloaded maps and that sort of thing. I don't like putting stuff here because all the stuff that's here at the moment is the, the stuff that comes with the game or the, the DLC, it's official content, if you like. Um, and I, well, basically, I, I like to keep that separate from any downloaded mods. So although you can put things here in the game folder, where I like to put them is in quite a long file path. So C, users, my user, and it's the app data folder, which is a hidden folder. If you can't see app data, you need to go to view and click check hidden items and then app data will show up. So within the app data folder, it's the colossal order folder, city skylines. And then this is where you can, you can you know, put your, your mods. So there's, there's different things you can download and they go in different places. If you're downloading a map, um, then it goes into this maps folder at this level. If it's any other type of mod um, or asset, it goes into this add-ons folder here. And so I'll just quickly run through um, what what you it might be that you download and where you put it. So actual mods, things that change the mechanic of the game or build in extra functionality go into this folder. And I've created separate folders for all of them. Uh, you maybe don't need to do that, but this means that all the files are together in one place. And if I don't like a mod, 
I can just delete the folder and that's it. It's gone. It's off my system. Um, if I just dumped everything, if I just unpacked it all into this folder, uh, you, trying to figure out what what works with which what what component is for which mod just makes life really difficult. So separate folders is definitely the way to go. So that's actual mods. And then there's um, there's assets, which are things basically. So models of, of trees or um, buildings. I'm going to be putting those those things that I've just downloaded into here. Um, you can see again, I, I, I've pretty much gone with the folder setup unless it's um, something that's just a single file where it's obvious what it is. These I just need to warn you about. These are um, color corrections, uh, which you would expect to go in that color corrections folder that's been created there for you. Don't put them there. They won't work. Um, this is as a red herring. If you download any asset, uh, sorry, any uh, mod type files that are, are basically relights that they, they're changing the the uh, the lighting of your mod, they go in the assets folder within add-ons. Okay. Um, map themes are again these are things that you might download as part of downloading a map. Uh, they they just set the overall kind of look and feel of the map. They go into that folder there. So you've got the mod folder for things that actually change the mechanics of the game. You've got map themes for map themes. You've got maps, which slightly confusingly is not in the add-ons. It's actually one layer, one level up. And then you've got assets, which are basically things plus the color corrections, which also sit in there. Okay. So actually, Putting these things in is easy enough. Both of these, this this statue and these curbs, they're actually assets. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a folder. So what's that? Europe Virgin statue. And just extract that to there and that's done. And then the other one was curb props to um, I don't know whether this has to be like this, but I noticed that um, in the game folder, there's no spaces um, in folder names. So um, I'm writing them all one word rather than um, putting spaces in that, that I would kind of naturally want to do. Now, this is a good example. You saw the first one I did was just a single file, but this is just a whole bunch of stuff. So you can understand why you want to have a separate folder for that particular asset. And then if you didn't like it for whatever reason, you just get rid of the folder and all the files disappear. All right. So that is it. So that's downloading your files where to put them. Um, and there we go. That's it. Happy modding.